Should we be feeding fruit? No. 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 Um, so there was a study out on dental disease and the increase in dental disease is due to feeding fruit. That was one of the factors that highly influenced it. Um, but also they, they don't eat fruit out in the wild. We don't. What they're eating is mainly green veggies, um, herbage and, and insects. Um, you know, Arid Australia doesn't have any of these like sweet fruits. People aren't feeding them. They're not, there's no strawberries growing out there. There's like, you know, it's just not stuff with that sugar content isn't out there. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's just not something that's natural for them. And in the veterinary literature has been shown to pre, uh, predispose them to, um, dental disease. And then also there is somewhat, um, you know, if you look at a lot of, uh, fungal cultures, uh, as well, it increases the fungal culture um, of the gut. So, um, you know, it's, is it going to get to an area where it's bad for them? The fungus levels, um, maybe yes, maybe no. Um, this is something that I work with every day at the moment. Um, and it, in an animal production world, yeah, it, reduces feed efficiency there's increased number of fungus in the gut but you know nothing that we're concerned about with a pet animal so the clip you've just watched is just a snippet of a larger podcast episode where we had bead vet on the podcast if you want to find the full podcast episode you can find that up here or if you want to carry on looking through the bead vet explained series you can find the rest of it down here